A Duluth Indigenous organization received a half million dollar grant. The goal, encourage more Native representation through art. KBJR 6's Abigail Smith explores what the money could mean for the community. Duluth's American Indian Community Housing Organization, also known as ICO, received a half a million dollar grant from the McKnight Foundation this week. The funds are granted to honor the region's diversity through art. The nonprofit organization is famous for its art programs, which have been regionally recognized. Community organizers say the money will help Native artists express themselves and create a representative platform. I think, you know, the significance of getting this funding is really in, in what it means for representation for the Native community. ACO has been doing all of this, you know, arts programming for the last decade and it's really uplifted a lot of stories and voices that haven't been traditionally represented before. Moira Villiard with ICO says through the last 10 years people are recognizing the importance of authentic representation and the funding will give Native artists more opportunities for art programming. The funding is important because it allows them to practice traditional works while making a living. Jasmine Wong, who works at ICO's art gift shop, also says the funding is incredibly important because it continues ICO's Indigenous First gallery legacy as a place for unbiased and authentic artwork honoring their culture. Villiard says art is also a sacred way to express Indigenous struggles and traditions. It's been an accessible way to uplift sort of like um, different issues that are like not artistic in nature. like. Uh, ACO doubles as a housing space and so being able to talk about housing or being able to talk about you know the displacement of people historically um, art allows easy access to those conversation or easy or access. ACO leaders will speak to the McKnight Foundation board before making a decision on how they'll use the money. They hope a portion of it will help indigenous artists connect with the organization.